to The Source, where we combine the headlines with in-depth conversations with the newsmakers themselves. Today on the program... A love that blossomed in Japan in the most unexpected circumstances. Inka. Can two strangers have the right love at the wrong time? Thanks, babe. Love you. A story of escape and realizations. Of love and in between maybes. Actress Julia Barreto tells us more in the program. Thank you for joining us. I'm Pinky Webb. Fall in love with Japan and with the characters of Black Sheep Films' latest offering, Between Maybe, top build by Julia Barreto and Gerald Anderson. Both of them are working together for the first time in a movie project. The film, shot in Japan, tells the story of Hazel and Louis. Julia portrays Hazel, an actress trying to escape her showbiz life, while Gerard plays Louis, an overseas Filipino worker. Can love between two strangers last? Let's go straight to the source of the story. We have Julia Barreto. Julia, good to see you finally. Hi, thank you for having me. You're so welcome because I, obviously I know your mom yes. and your mom's sister. Yeah. Then finally, now I have you live on the show. Between Maybes is a story about Hazel Ilagan. Yes. Hazel is an actress who was trying to escape. Why? Why? Because um, Hazel in the story lost control of her life in the Philippines. And I feel like it's what every actress goes through also. <laughs> <laughs> we also go through that at some point, like we, we, we have no control anymore with our lives or sometimes it gets too chaotic and sometimes we just want to get away from all of it. So I'm all sure the noise. when you read the script, you must have said, and what was your first reaction? This is perfect or this is something I definitely want to do. I fell in love with it right away. Yeah? And also maybe because I was sort of going through the same thing at the same time. So I thought it was such a perfect thing to... It became kind of like my outlet at the same time, yeah. doing the film. Very good, yeah. because you need that as an actress. You started, I was asking Julia, she started at seven years old. Imagine that. Yeah. Is there something, what is the one thing that you lost because of um, your showbiz career? Is there anything even, um, even worth mentioning? Uh, well, you know what, even if I had not... Um, been in the, I, even if I had not gotten into this industry, I feel like I wouldn't have lived a normal life anyway. Being in a family. Being of, a barreto. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like it, it still wouldn't have been normal. But I mean, it's something that I really, really love to do. So it's not a bad thing for me. Absolutely. I know when you were young, I would say that a lot of eyes, all eyes were on Julia. Ikaw yung parang, di ba parang ikaw naman yung among the, <laughs> the kids na unang, tama ba ako yung unang naging actress? Yes, yeah. yes, yes. Because yes. everyone found Julia very beautiful, of course, until now. At, so ikaw yung nanguna dito. How's the journey been so far for you? I mean, what's your, you know, your mom saying or your family saying about this whole thing? It's been great. I've been, um, it's been great. All of my prayers, my dreams, <laughs> finding they're all coming true. Yeah. And my family's been so supportive. My mom's been so supportive, so happy with everything that's going on. Yeah. And she knows how much I love this. Yeah, and you so still love it in spite of being sometimes tired, I guess? Of course, everybody. Control. Of course. Yeah. I mean, if it's something you love to do, no matter how tired you get, you keep going. You, you still look for it. Yeah. Yeah. What do you do when you're, when you're losing control? What I, is your outlet? <clears throat> I surrender. And I just learned that recently. Because sometimes the biggest frustration comes from trying to control everything. And sometimes you have to face the fact that you really can't control everything. Pala. Mm. And when you start to surrender and just let it go and let things happen the way they're supposed to happen, sometimes it, it's just more calming to the soul. It's, it's, it's easier. Things are done easier. It's less frustration, less anger. And who taught you that? I, I realize it on my own. On your own, huh? Yeah. <laughs> you have to. Eh? You sound very mature for your age. I think so. I don't know. Siguro sometimes showbiz also, well, how do you say it? Um, matures you faster? Gets you more mature? In the yeah. I think so. Because you have no choice but to be mature about certain things. Right. Right? You grow up quicker than the, a normal teenager because you have to understand things clearly at an earlier age. And you have, probably have to make decisions, you know, more so, or faster. 
yeah. at, at this age. So yeah. let's talk about Hazel again. So Hazel yeah. is an actress in the Philippines who lost control. You liked the script when you read it, and then you went to Saga? Yes. In Japan. Tell me first about Saga in Japan. What's Saga in Japan? I know, so I've never heard of the place. I, only that time when they pitched the project to me. Uh, so Saga is, for, to me, I don't want to uh, claim it as a province, but to me, it seemed like a province. Um, it was so beautiful, so peaceful. There's just so much peace there. It was so quiet. I feel like it's a perfect place to go soul searching yeah. for anyone who wants to get away from the chaos. Nga. It's so perfect. The people are polite, respectful, so nice, so generous. So giving. Who thought of Saga? I mean, I've never been. Our director. Because ah. I, I think he's been. Yeah. And that's where he got inspired to write that story. He's our writer and director. Also. Okay. Yeah. So the plot is this. Yes. Julia's an actress. No, Hazel is an actress. And Gerald, who plays Louis, is the son of an overseas Filipino yes. worker who got, I can say it. Yes, yes. Who got can. deported. Yes. Yung parents niya got deported yes. to the Philippines. But he was allowed to stay. Na iwan siya sa Japan. Yes. Tapos doon kayong dalawa nagkita. Nag yeah. And the story revolves around that. Yeah, it's almost like, um, I always like to say this because it happens in real life. Some people, <laughs> diba, some people pass by your life to kind of... Um, teach you something, make you realize something, or they serve a purpose. But you never know if they're really meant to stay in your life. Yeah. So, or sometimes it's like, maybe it's the right person, wrong time. Uh -huh. That's why it's painful. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. So now it makes me think. This person, well, obviously came into your life because there's a part in the movie that you asked him to be your boyfriend. So I'm going to play, let's play a part of that clip. Alam mo bang hindi pa ako nagkaka-boyfriend? Sabi mga kahapon. Pwede bang ikaw na lang yung maging first boyfriend ko? Ha? <laughs> Game ka? S Sige. <laughs> Smile ka naman dyan! Yan! So you're an actress, pero hindi ka pa nagkaka-boyfriend. Kaya sinabi mo kay Louie, Pwede ba ikaw na lang uh, maging boyfriend ko? How weird is that? Sana ganun, ganun lang kasimple yung life. Oo nga eh, di ba? You're my first boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> and then he'll say, okay. Yeah. And then everything's, a, you know, fine and happy until something happens. No, I'm just glad that, you know, they showed that clip because you never really know. Parang it kept people, it got people super curious because they really no, don't know what to expect from the film. Like, it shows a light, simple storytelling, but there's a layer to it. There are so many layers to it. It's so important you said that because when you said that Sana life was that simple, we all wish life is as, as simple as the movies, di ba? Yes. Or it could be complicated, but there's always a happy ending. Yes. So sinabi mo, pwede ba kung muna maging boyfriend ko? Tapos sabi mo, there are layers to so that. So many. What I got was, eventually, Louis says, why should we be happy? Eh, iiwan mo rin naman ako. Ah! <laughs> doon, na, doon na yung heartbreak. So, yeah. pero bago yun, Julia, marami pang mangyayari before. Yes, in between that. a lot more. What can you tell us about the in-betweens? Oh, Can wow. you? Can I? No. No. <laughs> no. Oh, sige, we have to watch it. In between. So, yes. what's the story? Kailangan ka na umuwi ng Pilipinas. Eh, nandun yun sa trailer, ha? Sabi niya, ba't pa tayo magiging masaya? Ay, aali, iiwan mo na rin naman because ako. Because in the movie, there's so many things in life that are so fleeting. Yeah. Moments that are fleeting. Yeah. People that don't really okay. stay for so long. Yeah. And so I feel like the story will really revolve ab around fleeting moments and people in your life. So I think maybe that's Louis' fear is that bakit pa tayo magiging masaya? E aalis ka din naman pala. Di ba kung sa relationship lang din, kung alam naman nating matatapos din, bakit pa tayo nagpapakasaya? <laughs> bakit pa tayo nagpapakasaya? Live for the moment. We'll be taking a short break. This is The Source on CNN Philippines. We'll be right back. Unang linggo ko dito, parang may narinig akong yapak. Strategy mo yan, no? Para makitulog ako sa kwarto mo. Sineshare ko lang kung yung mga nararanasan ko dito sa bahay. Sabi kasi ni Masad ako, may crush ka daw sa akin. <coughs> Bento ka? Ooh! Alam mo bang hindi pa ako nagkaka-boyfriend? Sabi mo nga kahapon. Pwede bang ikaw na lang yung maging first boyfriend ko? Ha? Huh? 
Game ka? Sige. Sige. <laughs> Smile ka naman dyan! Yan! Thanks, babe. Love you. Ginaganyan mo ako, uwi ka rin naman. Huwag mo na muna kasing isipin yun. Enjoy na lang natin habang nandito pa ako. Pero seryoso, iiwan mo nga ako. Iiyak na yan. Iiyak na yan. You're watching The Source on CNN Philippines. Our guest today, Julia Barreto. So, favorite part of the movie. I want two reasons why favorite mo siya. Kasi, hindi, isa na lang rason. Kasi talagang tago siya sa puso mo. Iyon. Wow. Um, ang dami masyadong moments doon na I really fell in love with. Hindi um, eh, ko kasi alam ko pwede pa ishare it. Pero siguro kasi, there are moments in the film where, um, you know when you fall in love with somebody and you're almost ready to give up everything. Mm -hmm. But you're half-hearted because it's like you want to give up everything for the person you love, but you don't want to give up something that you also love to do. Yeah. yeah. Right? I so, know what you mean. So we have that moment there in the movie where I'm really contemplating. Wow, and I'm almost sure I know what you're going and to choose. And the truth! It's like real life. Oh, sige. So that's the plot. Yun, yun, yun yung aabangan natin. And it's also always good to find that, you know, the meaning behind every scene as it goes deeper and deeper and deeper into the movie. Let's talk about Gerald now. Yes. Um, what was it like working with him? Was it all that you expected? Madami ka bang natutunan sa kanya? Um, he was uh, he was wonderful to work with. Um, first of all, he's very passionate, very genuine, and he was such a positive energy for everybody on really? the set. And um, yeah, marami akong natutunan sa kanya, of course. Marami, mas marami na siyang na-experience <laughs> sa akin. And um, yeah, there are plenty of things I learned from him. Was it almost, would you say, um, instant magic? You know, there was this, this connection between you as co-stars? Um, or was it kailangan adjust Actually, no, I'm glad because the friendship and the working relationship um, happened so naturally. Maybe because um, there was willingness in both parties na to really be open to each other. Mm -hmm. Because I feel like when you work with each other and trust yourselves with heavy scenes, light scenes, but you kind of really have to be open yeah. and um, generous with your feelings or... Um, just the, the things that you think about. Yeah. Parang, uh, you, you really uh, surrender your inhibitions, let go of your inhibitions. Yes. You have to be very open to the partner yes. you're with. And that came almost automatic between you and Gerald. Yes, thank you. Thankfully. <laughs> Thankfully, ba? yes. Because I'm sure as an actress, there are times that it doesn't feel as comfortable as it does. Of course, the, it happens. Diba? Yeah. And then that's good. Did you ever think makakatambal mo si Gerald Anderson? Um, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Um, you know what? So many people were surprised. But me, kasi, like what I, 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 I said this in an interview, Nana, when I, if ever I were to have a solo project out of my um, love team with Josh, I knew it's got to be with somebody much older than me. So, but I, I, I and knew. And was it going to be Gerald? Yun na isap mo? Yeah. Why? Why him? Why? Um, Maybe I've always wanted to work with him. Uh -huh. So, yeah. And I, I, and I was very open to the management about that. Yeah. I mean, they oh. ask me, and the management will ask you, uh -oh. who do you think you want to work with yeah. in the future? And you've always ever. said Gerald? Yeah. yeah. Of course, yeah. And if, if not Gerald, who would be an, another Brother? person yeah, you Ooh. would like to work with? Um, Jericho. Ah, Jerry Gorosales. Yeah. Parami rin, I'm sure, gustong makatambal siya. Ang ganda ng color and shots um, in, in Saga, yes. in Japan. What, were, what was most challenging about a film? You know, for people like us who watch it completely dubbed, so pretty, you know, everything seamless. What mm. are the challenges you had to encounter? Okay, so our biggest challenge was in Saga because usually when we're back in the Philippines, the production, the crew, and the staff is 100 plus people. In Saga, we were only 23 all in all. 
that's including me and Je Gerald already. <laughs> ah. So um, everybody had to help each other. Yeah. Um, kahit yung mga taong hindi naman in charge sa lighting, sa audio, nagla-lighting, nag audio <laughs> nagka-crowd. Yeah. Even Gerald was so helpful. He was helping out with the, with the things. And, you know, I, I would help as much as I could. But, um, yeah, it was, that was the, the challenge. From being spoiled in Manila. <laughs> yeah. Diba? Because, you, yeah. of course, you always have people yeah. around you to help yeah. you. Ito, um, do it yourself. Do it yourself. Or yourself which is good. Diba? Yeah. Because uh, it, it also helps you as a, as a person uh, to be a little bit more independent. Uh, and, and grounded, to be honest. Yo, yeah, it's it's very also humbling. Very good you say that. Yeah. Also to keep you grounded as yeah. well. Um, the film is directed by Jason Paul Laksamana. How is he as a director? Is this your first time with to him, work yes. with him? I'm so grateful for the experience. First of all, he's such a... Um, I like his vision, and I like that everything to him comes naturally. He doesn't like acting, acting. He likes everything that happens in real life. You just do it here. The way you would talk to each other in real life, you do it here. Yeah. You know, if you stutter, you stutter. It happens in real life. Just go on. Talaga. We're not gonna cut. Yeah. Yeah. Was that such a different experience for you, knowing that actors, actresses, have to be perfect in every scene. It was so refreshing. And so liberating, I'm sure, huh? Yes. And it was, uh, he gave us the, um, the right amount of freedom as actors to also play with our characters. Mm. So it was more collaborative. He just had his pointers and his guidelines yeah. since he was also the writer. Yeah. But everything else, he let us be. Julia, what did you contribute personally as Hazel? Ani yung sinabi mo kay Direk that, diba? he said he gave you so much freedom uh, to contribute. Well, what, what, what was it that you adjusted to or told him, I kind of want to do this direct? Uh, you know, I don't even, I don't remember a time when I told him that because he knew how much I could relate to Hazel so much. So he, I was so thankful for the trust that he gave me. Yeah. So whatever choice I made, he, he it knew it was also coming from... Yeah experience yeah. and um, I could super relate to Hazel. So uh, there was no, like, can I do this instead of this? Because Mala. it was always so collaborative and... Um, I guess you were saying it's, it complements who you are. Yeah, I guess. Does Hazel complement who you are in many, many ways? Uh, yeah. I guess yeah. so, yes. <laughs> She's also very misunderstood. That's why maybe I fell in love with her even more. <laughs> very, very misunderstood. <laughs> Again, we'll be taking a short break. This is The Source on CNN Philippines. Please stay tuned. Tina mo ay ibag mo, mukha ka ng zombie. Paano ka nga kukunin bida? Di mo nga ginalingan sa audition. Ayoko na ng ingay. Gusto ko ng tahimik. Sana may makaintindi. Sana meron ako makasama. Kuya Saglet, paano pumunta dito? Kotse? Kuya, naliligaw ako! Paano ka ba ng patbad sa saga? Hindi ganun karaming turista dito. Yun nga yung point. Walang may kilala sa akin. Grabe. Ginusto mo talaga mag-disappear, eh, no? Buti na lang nakilala ko siya. Buti na lang nakilala kita. Smile ka naman dyan! Ikaw. Bakit parang malungkot ka? Parang may tinatago ka raw dito. Hapte, sama ng loob. Paano kung samahan na lang kita? I-extend mo bakasyon mo? Iiwan ko ba ang lahat? Handa ka bang ipagpalit lahat ng meron ka sa Pilipinas? Para sa ganitong buhay. Iiwanan mo ba ako? watching The Source on CNN Philippines. Our guest today, Julia Barreto. Julia, first time 
Well, in a, since your partnership mm. with Josh, mm. may nervous ba ngayon? Mm. Saan? To show the movie na hindi mo partner si Josh. To be pitted with, uh, to, uh, rather, to be, uh, to have a love team na hindi si Josh. You know, I'm asked that a lot. But, no. No, because, um, since the very beginning that Josh and I were teamed up, we were, they were, they already spoke to us that this was going to happen yeah. sooner or later. And Josh and I also spoke about it. We had lots of meetings about it and we had talked about it even in private, na kaming dalawa lang, mm. na it's what's best for the two of us as actors. And this is the only way we're going to grow as actors. And if we support and love each other, we'll only want the best for each other. And what's best for us now is growth. So, no, I'm not nervous. But, of course, there were certain adjustments. Being in a love, being paired up with him yeah. for three years and only having done scenes with him for three years, of course, it was more, you know, adjusting to a different person, not knowing what his nuances were yeah. going to be, how he was going to throw his lines. But... You see, that's how you grow. It's because you're challenged, because you're surprised. And then so your reaction will become organic yeah. because you don't know what he's going to give True. to you. True, more pure and yeah. more raw. May yeah. selos, ano, uh, issue ba dito? Nagkakaroon ba ng ganon? Si Josh? Oo. Um, well, he'll never... Lalo na when you and Gerald were dancing, di ba, nung sumasayaw kayo, <laughs> tapos the... tinitingnan kanya, tapos tumitingin, siya, tumitingin ka din sa kanya. I can't answer that for Josh. Oh, has he said anything to you? Parang, grabe naman, Julia, kung makatitig ka kay Gerald. Ganyan. Walang, walang ganon. Wala. Walang ganon. First of all, we have to accept that we're both actors. Yeah. And mangyayari at mangyayari yung mga eksena na ganon with other actors. Wala namang ganon na nangyari. And I'm so thankful that Josh was that way. And there is, I guess, uh, I guess what's important, Julia, is when you have a partner, there's a lot of respect. Diba? Yes. Ikaw may mararamdaman kang respeto uh, with, with Gerald. And that transcends to your on and off, well, yes. off screen yes. partner yes. as well. Yes. What was the one thing Josh asked you about the movie? That you, you know, that kind of struck you now. Ano ba sinabi niya sa tungkol sa movie? He never said anything about <laughs> the movie. Actually, with Josh, um, he's supportive, don't get me wrong, but he'd rather not talk about no? the movie. <laughs> he'd rather not know? You know, he'd rather not know. I don't know why, so, no. but you know what? If that's what he wants, then... Okay. You're okay with it too. Yeah, but you know, I, I share with him like I had a great time in Japan. Um, I tell about my filming experience abroad because he's done it before me, yung abroad shooting. Yeah. But then ayon yun ang pahabain. Very <laughs> supportive siya. You do know that saying, right? Um, what is that? Uh, it's better. What is that? Yung there is some things better left unsaid. Unsaid. <laughs> or it's better not to know everything. Yeah. Yan. Yeah. All right. So the the movie is between maybe's and it shows on May fifteenth. You'd like to invite them, Julia? Yes, I'd love to invite everybody to please catch our film. Na pinaghirapan talaga namin in Japan. It's called Between Maybe's, directed by director Jason Pollock Samana. This is under Black Sheep in cinemas May fifteenth. How many days did you have to shoot in Japan? Two weeks. Two weeks only. We were there for two weeks and then we finished the film. Wow. Yes. Congratulations in advance. Thank you so between much. Between maybes, you get it. Why it's between yeah. maybes, right? Uh, so that's um, on May 15. Catch that. Julia, so good to see you. Thank you for having me. Love to your mom and uh, thank you. Thank you for joining us here on The Source. I'm Pinky Webb. You're watching CNN Philippines.